Hey, welcome back to Butterfly Soup. Uh, in the last episode, we learned a lot more about Min and Jun Seo's background and their parents. Uh, I have a feeling that Min Seo might be non-binary. I think that's what the game is hinting at. I'm not really sure though. Anyway, let's get back into it. <coughs> Min. Help me. What's wrong? Who hurt you? She's so sweet. I'll kill them. I'll smash their heads in. I don't know how to talk to the baseball team. They're being weird. Hmm? Oh, we're playing as mean now, of course. Check the baseball club chat. Yeah. Oh, God. WTF? I don't want to see this. <sighs> Ohio Gazai Morning. Join our RP group. <clears throat> Rubs against me. Kicks you over a fence. Be a furry freak ho somewhere else. Sad, yeah. <laughs> hey, Krissa. Oh, hey, Krissa. Yo. We should do something to celebrate our win. How about going out for lunch? Yeah. That sounds good. Any suggestions for where? Are they gonna eat dinner? Or, I mean, lunch together. <laughs> Buffet. Perfect. I have a coupon for Bombay Garden. Sounds good. It's an Indian buffet at the, in the mall. If we're being, uh, if you're really being frugal, I bet Min could pass off as under 12 for the kids' price. Why stop there? Infants eat for free. <laughs> Damn. Hey. More realistically, Min could actually fit in our equipment. <laughs> They're being so mean to him. The giant three feet long one, foot long one. We can straight up smuggle her inside and not pay for it all. Won't the waiters find it odd that a tiny Asian kid suddenly materialized at her table? No, they won't see her. She'll stay in the bag. When no one's looking, we can quickly slip the food inside. God, they're savage. <laughs> what kind of demented fantasy even is this? Yeah, what is this? Is this like your kink or something? I'm getting scared for your future children, you weirdo. That sounds kind of fun, actually. I'll do it. What? I'll be like, illegal. All right, let's meet up there at noon tomorrow. Be there or be square. Uh, tomorrow, I won't be able to go. No. Why not? I just had fun three months ago. My parents will complain I'm wasting time. I can't go either. I'm still grounded for getting expelled from Niles. How are you coming to practice then? I told them I'm going to a tutoring group. Can't you say you're going to a special additional C's session? Because you're extra dumb and need the help. Fuck you. That's not gonna work. They won't be convinced that easily. Wait, listen. I have an idea. What is it? Means mom accompanies her to the library. No, it's here. No, is seated inside with her mom, trying to convince her mom. Mean gestures at her, wrinkling her nose with disgust. This is my private tutor, or whatever. Yes, I am receiving extra credit for this. Mean's mom eyes the clearly nerdy girl Mean would never be friends with. No, his mom, I what? Show us your latest math test. Mean takes a crumpled ball of paper out of her pocket. When she smooths it out, it's marked all over, red with failure. What happened? I got unlucky. There's so many where I narrowed it down to two choices and guessed wrong. There's only four choices. Even if you chose every single answer at random on average, you would score would have scored higher than this. Yeah, says who? What? Says probability. Noah teaches Mean the concept of 
probability. Sounds fake. It's not fake. You at least understand it now? I guess. Finally conv convinced that Noah is legitimately tutoring Min, their mom, their moms? Moms head home. We fool them. All we need to do now is walk to the buffet and remember to come back here later to get picked up. It's so messed up that we even have to do this, just for really basic things. We're not even doing anything bad. I can't comprehend a situation where you don't have to hide most of your life from your parents. Right? A healthy relationship with your parents? What's that? It sucks that due to societal pressures, practically everyone has kids, whether they're well suited for parenting or not. Yeah. It took me a long time to accept that my mom and dad are decent people who just happen to make horrible parents. I bet mine are worse. I guess they are. My dad taped the ta times table up to the 12 by 12 to the wall at eye level and made me stand facing it until I memorized the whole thing in one go. I was only five, jeez, <laughs> but I remember it clearly because I was there for hours and hours. I still don't know the 11 and 12 ones. Oh yeah? My dad once threw a porcelain toilet seat at me from upstairs. God, he's violent. Why a toilet seat? My dad went to pee in the middle of an argument and suddenly remembered how mad he was at me. So he stormed out of the bathroom with the thing in hand and hurled it at me on sight. What a piece of shit. Wow, that explains a lot about you. Parents should be required to take a test before they can have kids. I wish that viable. Viable. Maybe in an ideal world, where all vehicle turn signals sync up and blink at the same speed. I want the test to ask them to explain their motivation for being a parent. Do you want a kid to, just to elevate your own status? What if your kids don't turn out the way you expected? A bunch of white guys holler at them as they pass by at the intersection. Konnichiwa. Me makes an obscene hand gesture at him. This is America. Speak English, motherfucker. That's not the correct way to think of it. It's kind of funny. He had two chances to get it right and got it wrong for both of us. Like you and your math test. Oh, shut up. <laughs> We're here. Dia and Akarsha are already waiting by the fountain. Dia. Hmm. Aww. Oh. This just added five years to my lifespan. Still, there's no hello. Dia has moved so that she's standing directly beneath the air conditioning vent. She closes her eyes contentedly as the cool draft blows over her face. You're sweating buckets. Were you exercising or something? Ran five miles to here from my house. But your house is only one mile away. I know. I just can't read maps. You should cool it off. You should cool it off in the fountain. No. It doesn't matter that you're not wearing a swimsuit. If you take off your clothes, your bra and underwear will basically be like a bikini. I've always thought about that. You think the swimsuit is the only issue here? It's called having fun, Frenchman. You should try it sometime. Really? Then why don't you jump into the fountain? Mm, great question. What? It's filled with the money people threw in there. It's like a swimming pool, but better. It's probably dirty. She's right. There's nothing stopping us from taking it. You can't be serious. Stop. Stop! Oh my god. They're actually doing it. <laughs> How much money have you got so far? Min examines the fistful of dirty coins in her hand. Uh, a lot. Min holds it out for a car to see. You've got like a dollar eighty-eight. If we find 392 more cents, we can buy Mario Party at GameStop. Hey, what are you doing in there? Get out! Krista is power walking toward them. Shit. Well, Akasha and Mean reluctantly climb out of the mall fountain. Why are you two like this? Have you never gone outside before? How dare you? Just last week, I went to Safeway with my mom. Krista points at Noel, who's smugly watching them get scolded from a safe distance. And you. 
What? I didn't do anything. Exactly. You should have stopped them. Are you the responsible one or not? Alright, I think they get it. Let's just go into the restaurant now. Alright, they're going to a buffet. <laughs> get in the mag, mean. Oh god. These places, the empty equipment bag on the floor <laughs> and the zips it. This is so dumb. Mean climbs in and then lies on her side in fetal position. There's actually some room to spare. She's so tiny. She's a small, small bean. You okay in there? It's kind of like being in a sleeping bag, except not padded and shitty. I'm doing a crime. If I stay undercover like this, I'll basically be stealing from the restaurant. That's right, homie. Fight the system. We need to zip this up now, so no one sees you. Everyone wave goodbye to me, and this is stupid. <laughs> well, bye, mean. This is so stupid. Come on. I can't see a thing now that's zip shut. Min feels a tug on the top of the bag. Uh, I didn't think about carrying the bag in. In, excuse me. It's like 100 pounds. Dia can lift it. She's the strongest. No, Dia won't work. She looked too guilty. You can see it on her face. See, Mom? She's already uncomfortable. Did you just call her Mom? Did you just call me Mom? What? I, I did not. You totally did. I absolutely did not. Alright, I'll carry the bag. Whoa, she's lifting the bag off the ground. I'm suddenly really worried about being dropped. If you drop me, I'll kill you. They've halted inside the restaurant. How many? Uh, nine. I mean, eight. We don't have any large tables left. Is two separate ones fine? Sure. Come this way. <laughs> the bag shifts with Chris's movements as she pulls the waiter. Why are they doing this? These tables are pretty tall. If me were sitting at it, she'd need a booster seat. Damn! Not that short, you bitch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shit. Mean's life as a fugitive has ended. <laughs> at least now that you've blown your cover, you can eat normally with us. Yeah. Who thought this was a good idea? Seriously. Mean crawls out of the bag and takes a seat with Akarsha, Noel, and Dia. We can get our drinks and food now. As Akarsha reaches for her empty glass, Noel grabs her arm. Wait, I'll get your water along with mine. You go ahead and get your food. Th thanks? Don't mention it. Do you have a fever or something? You're really docile all of a sudden. I don't have the energy to deal with both you and Minseo at the same time. I'll get you back for this later. I like how getting her water is something you have to get her back for. <laughs> Dia pauses and then looks to Min. The restaurant is noisy enough that she likely didn't catch what Min said, but she heard her tone of approval. You like Noelle now? Her face is shining with hope. Min is struck with the conviction that saying no would be a crime punishable by death. She's okay, I guess. Dia beams at her. The blinding exposure temporarily lowers means I cube by 50 points. Yeah, that was so worth it. Cute. Uh, I don't know what anything is. Surely you at least recognize tandoori chicken. You're saying it wrong. Wait, really? Ten tandoori? Oh, tandoori. Uh, the do isn't like indoor, it's like doo doo head. Are you five years old? You could have just said like the do in due date. Tandoori. Tandoori. I ended up taking a bit of everything. Maybe this will make Dia think I'm cool for trying all of it. The tando tandoori chicken is too salty. Noel dumps it on Dia's plate. Dia eagerly stuffs the extra food into her mouth. What is she, your garbage disposal? Mean jitters her legs so the table is rattling like there's a small earthquake. 
Stop that. Akarsha joins in at the same frequency, so it resonates. Knowledge is power. Akarsha sips her water. She's down about half the glass now. Clearly waiting for this moment to arrive, Noelle smugly flips open her cell phone and shows it to her. What? Akarsha, look at this photo. It's a picture of the restaurant's bathroom stall. In the center of the frame, Noelle is holding a water glass to the toilet. <gasps> uh, is that... You filled my cup with toilet water? What do you think? Seriously? Akasha stands. Noelle has a perversely happy look on her face, like a child burning ants with a magnifying glass. Seriously now? Are you serious? Come on, man. Seriously now, are you serious? Come on, man. Now we're even. Ew. Ew. I can't believe you. You meanie. My stomach hurts now. You're being overdramatic. The bacteria wouldn't affect it that fast. I'm gonna wash my mouth out. Akarsha disappears into the bathroom. Jesus Christ. Worry, Dia goes after Akarsha, leaving Mean alone with Noel at the table. Noel is in a particularly good mood now. Uh, let's talk to Noel, I guess, or try to. Was it really toilet water? What? Of course not. <laughs> that would have been unsanitary. Of course, Noel. What kind of person do you think I am? What the fuck? That somehow makes it even worse. You lied to her. I never lied. I, perf I purposely led her to the wrong conclusion, that's all. Um, it pisses me off to admit it, but you're less boring than I originally thought. I used to think you were the bland, goody two, two shoes type, but you're actually the sadistic, manipulative weirdo. I can respect that. <laughs> uh, th thanks? Sorry I've been a jerk to you. Aww. If I'd given you a chance, we might have gotten along. What? Uh, just, just kidding. I hate you. No, nods with relief. Good. I hate you too. None of this Disney shit. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, let's check on Dia and Akarsha. He gets up and hovers awkwardly outside the woman's restroom. Peering through the open door from the hallway, she can see the Kasha and Dia at the sink. Akasha cups her hand under the running faucet, gargles the tap water, and spits it back out. <laughs> oh my god, people pooped in the toilet water, and I drank it. Yeah. This would happen to me. Classic. What did I do? What did I ever do to deserve this? He tied Noah's brain to a tree. But besides that, that's so minor. And accidentally dropped a worm we were dissecting down her shirt. Uh, besides that, that was weeks ago. Yesterday you picked her up, replied, okay, when she demanded you put her down, and threw her into the school swimming pool. You deserve it, Akarsha. And when she screeched, now I'm all wet, you yelled, that's what she said. Uh, besides that, none of these count. Such a cruel world we live in. Right. Thea clearly has no idea what to say. Even though she's mostly just standing there listening. Uh, though, Akarsha seems to appreciate her presence. It looks like they're doing okay. Me returns to the table. They're taking a long time in there. She's not crying, is she? No, she's just being a drama queen like usual. What, are you worried? What? No. I was just curious. Whatever you say, Satan. The workers are refilling the iced tea keg now. That looks good. Mean fetches a glass of iced tea and returns to the table. What is that? Iced tea. What? Where was it? Mean points at the glass keg in the corner of the buffet. Why is it all by itself, away from the other beverages? Maybe it's not iced tea? Uh, maybe they didn't have room by the soda machines? Now that she looks, though, there is room by the soda machine. Shit, you're right. What the hell is this, then? How should I know? Mean sniffs it. I 
can't tell what it is. You try. Nell brings the bowl to her face and inhales. I don't know, it doesn't smell like tea. Min pours half of it into another glass and slides it over to Noel. I don't want this. It's a symbol of our not being enemies anymore. <laughs> you don't even know what it is. I don't even know what it is. Then try it. You try it. What, are you scared it'll taste bad? What if it's condiment or a sauce? It'd be like eating mustard. You should just wait for Dee and Akarsha to come back and ask them. I don't want to be sitting here with matching cups with you. It looks stupid. You should have thought about that before taking a glass of mystery liquid. I thought I knew what it was. Noah glares down at her glass of orangey yellow liquid. After a long moment, takes a sip of it. Well, what is it? It's spicy, not sweet. It's weird for a beverage. I don't like it. What are you, racist? I'm not racist. It's chai tea. Or chai. You're like one of those wimps who's, who are afraid of durian. How dare you? Close-minded. I'm not. Look, I'll finish it. Durian sucks. It's probably an acquired taste, like durian. Mean begins drinking her glass of the liquid too. It does taste weird for a drink. I don't like it, but I'm better than her. I'll never admit it. Maybe it is a condiment. Grimacing, they continue drinking the mystery liquid in silence. Hey, you're like a Dia expert, right? More or less. Can I ask you for your opinion on something then? Yes. Where would be the best possible place to take Dia on a date? A dog park. Mm-hmm. I already... I mean, besides a dog park. Then the Harry Potter theme park at Universal Studios. But I don't have the money to... I mean, the budget in this situation is small. In this hypothetical situation. Right, in this hypothetical situation. I'm testing your Dia knowledge. Hmm. She also likes eating. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Dia would go for anything, really. Why don't you take her to a dessert place instead? There's one she wants to uh, try called Snow Castle. They have shaved ice and boba. Mm, I love boba. It's within walking distance from school. Students often visit it during l the lunch hour. Perfect, thanks. In high school, they never let us leave <laughs> during lunch. I mean, you pass. Because I was testing you. Mm. Just as a reminder, I hate you. I'm only helping you to make sure Dia doesn't have a terrible time. Yeah, of course. I hate you too. Karsha and Dia have returned from the bathroom. Akarsha's eyes widen as she sees Mean gulp another mouthful of the mystery liquid. What is it? Are you guys drinking Panny? Dia, look, they're drinking Panny. What is it? What? What's Panny? You're supposed to use it to fill up, fill up Philpiri, the fried dough ball things. You don't drink it all by itself. Oh. Okay. It's like the syrup, right? No glares at Min. I told you it was a beverage. I was right. Don't pin it on me. You drank it all on your own. You guys squirt ketchup directly into your mouths too? Shut up. Ketchup man. Both Dia and Akarsha are gleeful, gleefully taking out their phones. <laughs> Don't take photos. Look what I got. It's a photo of a blurred scally Noel trying to shove the shameful cup away from her. S send it to me. You're never gonna let us leave this down, are you? You guessed it, Ketchup Man too. Whatever, pea girl. Noel storms off to the buffet area to escape Akarsha's photo. Akarsha gets up and chases after her. Noel's making things even worse. There's gonna be action shots of her running around the salad bar now. And of her tripping. Huh? But she hasn't tripped. As if on cue, Noel stumbles over nothing and trips. Hey, this isn't a jungle gym. Hmm. Wow, you're good. 
We're alone at the table now. Here's my chance to ask her out. Oh, we should go out and eat sometime. We're already eating right now. I mean, uh, some other time. Just the two of us. <sighs> Adorable. The next day. Snow castle. We're here. On a date. I think I had some boba. It's lunchtime at school right now. We ate really fast and sprinted here. How much time do we have? About 30 minutes before we gotta run back to campus. Thanks for bringing me here. I've always wanted to try their shaved ice. I'm the one who should be thankful. Don't mention it. Mia receives a chat message. She quickly checks her phone. I have prepared a Dia cheat sheet for your reference. Uh, top desserts and drinks Dia likes? Noel, well, you're so sweet. Any food artificially colored to look blue? The flavor is relevant. Blue raspberry, Baja Blast, which didn't exist yet. Dia cannot tell the difference and will refer to it as blue flavor. Peanut butter, she is neutral toward actual peanuts. Mango. Food with this, a circle in the center. Uh, for example, Bagels, bun cakes, and peach gummy rings. If you're in a situation where multiple food items have these features, uh, for example, both a blue colored, colored cake and a mango mousse cake are available. The hierarchy is as follows. Blue flavor, peanut butter, mango, circle in the center. Suggested conversation topics. Owl City. Very 2008. Dogs who have different colored fur above their eyes so it looks like they have eyebrows and the most extreme <laughs> the animal plant series where it's like people but evolve differently i think okay i'll text you if i run into trouble understood so sweet me and dia take their place in line and gaze up at the menu these shaped ice desserts look massive maybe we can share one Dia nods eagerly. It's on purpose. They're made for couples to eat together. We're sharing one. It's Dia and Meanstern in line now. Welcome to Snow Castle. Can I take your order? Dia looks anxiously at Mean. Mean's heart skips a beat seeing the helplessness in her eyes. She's relying on me. I've got you. We'll have the Mount Fuji. That one is blue. One Mount Fuji? Coming right up. Dia and Mean find the table and wait for their order. I'll pay you back. No, it's on me. Don't worry about it. I still have the money from the mall fountain. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. I'd kill someone if you asked me to. I'm pretty sure you'd kill someone even if I didn't ask you to. The orders are being prepared on the counter. An employee is drizzling syrup atop another customer's mountain of shaved ice. Hey, we can watch them make it. Don't want to see. Food tastes better if you don't know what's in it. That way, it's like magic. I guess that's true. I never thought of it like that. Do you know how to cook? I can make microwave popcorn. That's not cooking. What, can you cook? Not really. Once I tried to make a pancake, when I was nine. But it burned to a total crisp, like a rock couldn't even scrape it out of the pan. I was so embarrassed that I dug a big hole in the backyard and buried it. <laughs> Including the pan? I was desperate. Didn't know what else to do. That's so cute. Like a puppy. Like a little puppy. Are you making fun of me? No, it's a good thing. You're so cute sometimes. But I almost can't stand it. <laughs> I, I have to go to the bathroom. Dia staggers to her feet and makes for the restroom. Oh, She misses the door and strands straight into the wall. Dia! Mia rushes to her side as she staggers back and grabs a hold of her. Worried she might fall. I'll kill you, wall. What's wrong? Are you hurt? Dia just shakes her head, face red. She seems to be struggling within the limits of spoken language. She's so flustered. You sure? Dia nods frantically. Mean tentatively, tentatively lets her go. She watches Dia scramble into the restroom, correctly this time. 
As Mia returns to the table, her phone screen lights up with a message. Uh, I'm so fucking done. The way you grabbed her, I thought you were going to start dry humping her in the middle of the restaurant. Are you watching us? Wait, what? Akarsha, I'm convinced those sunglasses are actually impeding your mental processes. I'm, I am embarrassed to be seen with you. Well, I can't take them off. My cover will be blown. You should have chosen a better disguise in the first place then. What? Turn around. <sighs> what the fuck? Dee's been texting me for advice on you. That's why she went to the bathroom. What? Honestly, I'm annoyed she goes to you and not me. Why would she go to you? You never talk about feelings and gay stuff. Uh, and also, I have master seduction skills. What master seduction skills? My tactics. If you're so knowledgeable on these matters, why are you single? Damn. Excuse me. I'm single because I want to be? Some people like being sad and alone. On purpose. On purpose. Right, on purpose. Not because no one ever likes me back or anything. Oh. Don't attack me like this? What the fuck? Wait guys, hold on. How long has this been going on? Was the whole thing at the buffet set up? When you two left at the table? Take a wild guess, Sherlock. Damn. You know, no, I'm starting to realize you do have a sense of humor. But you're so emotionally constipated <laughs> that your style of humor is just being extremely mean. Oh my god, wait. Do you and Noel go get along now? We don't get along. But we're not used to... Uh, we used to not get along much worse. What? Dia returns to the table. Are you feeling better? Do you nod sheepishly? and it stiffens up in fear as a waitress approaches with their dessert on a tray. One Mount Fuji. Dear responds with frenzied nodding as the waitress slides the dessert onto the table. Ooh. It's a mound of shaped ice sculpted and saturated with blue raspberry syrup and condensed milk to look like a mountain. That looks really good. The blue flavor looks good. No, it was spot on. Or the pink things. They look like marshmallows. Oh. It's mochi. They're supposed to look like cherry blossoms. Mean stabs her spoon into the shaved ice and shovels it into her mouth. The shaved ice is so cold that her gums are growing numb. I think I'm getting brain freeze. Me too. A drop of cream is trickling down Dia's finger. She quickly licks it clean before it can reach her palm. Mia is so focused watching, she doesn't realize her own mouth is hanging open until she feels a trail of spit about to drop down from it. Mia accidentally drooled onto the table. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> They're just watching her. Dia is staring determinedly into the Mount... Mr. Fuji? That was Mount Fuji. She's probably pretending not to have seen. Help me. Pretend to drown so she has to give, her, give you mouth to mouth. What the fuck kind of plan is that? What would I even be drowning on? The shaved ice. No. The toilet. No. Trust me, I'm a love expert. There's no way this could possibly go wrong. Rather than potentially causing a fusion like that, why don't you be open and tell her how you feel? You're the last person on Earth on the planet to qualify to tell me to be open. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm perfectly open about my feelings. Since when? Hey, Frenchman, you enjoy our company, right? I'm not sure how you deluded yourself into believing that. See? <laughs> Proved us right. You can't even argue it. She's trapped. She hates being wrong, but she but can't admit she likes us. I like you. <sighs> what? However, you're immature and relentlessly annoying. Everything about you fills me with indescribable rage. From the way you wear a windbreaker with flip-flops, to your idiotic-looking hairstyle, to how you're smart yet do things like call forks, food rakes, etc. And me, you're volatile and stupid. I already heartily tolerate you, so if you hurt Dia in any way, I won't hesitate to destroy you. 
Why do you have to immediately drag us to defuse the situation? Baby steps, Frenchman. Very good. Shut up. Now that I'm right, as always, about being open, Min has no valid excuse. What if Dia rejects me? That's her own personal problem for having bad taste. Her last, not yours. What should I say? Pretty sure she won't reject you. Uh, let me think. Shit, bitch, she was fine. What the hell? No! Hey, girl. Red piss. What? A code name for send nudes, which didn't exist yet. Just so you know. Who the fuck would say that? Do it. Hey, girl. Red piss. No! If you don't make a move within the next five minutes, I'm about the crazy frog song and ruin your whole date. I practice. Unfortunately, I can confirm that she's practiced. Okay, I can do this. My mouth is so cold. Want me to warm it up for you? <gasps> Dia freezes. Oh my god, I fucked up. I fucked up. Dia gives her a nervous, very small nod. What? Do it, in the boba shop. Oh, Vin crawls into the table and all fours with a loud clatter. Dia gasps as Vin cups her face in her palms and catches her lips with hers. Her mouth is cold as advertised and blue flavor. This is the cutest shit I've ever seen. Dia doesn't push her away, but she doesn't kiss back either. Vin can feel her trembling in her arms like a frightened rabbit. Anxious Mead pulls back over the sounds of Akarsha's whooping and yodeling in the background. Dia is clinging desperately to Mead's jacket sleeves, a vivid blush coloring her cheeks. Is... is this good? Dia frantically nods in response, looking embarrassed. I don't know what to do. I've never done this before. Me neither, but don't worry. I looked it up on Yahoo Answers. Unless you want to start smaller. I... I want to hold hands with you and cuddle. We can do that. Ving takes Dia's hand. I'm happy you kissed me. I like you a lot. Me too. Ving lightly brushes Dia's lips with her thumb. Dia shivers at the touch as Ving gently pulls her closer. Do you like this? Dia nods, then closes her eyes and leads in. She nuzzles against me, peppering her cheek with soft little kisses. Oh my god, Dia's kissing me. The table, it's... Oh shit. Noel stands up and is approaching them. What the fuck? Go away, Noel. You think I want to be here watching this disgusting display? The table is... The leg of the table... Oh no. Gives way under means weight. Well, shit. I can't believe we're banned from Snowcastle now. I'm so sorry. I can't believe Min broke their table. No choice. You could have held off on making out for 10 seconds and walked around it. Like I said, no choice. That was even better than you guys drinking a, a penny at, a, at the buffet. Shut up. Yeah, shut your... Fuck up. Shut your fuck up. I hate you all. I'm going home. Okay, so you have practice tomorrow. No, wait, stay. Change my mind then. You have approximately 10 seconds. Friendship is like peeing on yourself. Everyone can see it, but only you get the warm feeling it brings. What the fuck? Damn it, Akersha. Goodbye. No! What were you expecting after that, you nasty freak ho? Pea girl again? <laughs> Meanie. You, you dumb elf. What? So sweet. You know how during metamorphosis, inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar turns into soup? It melts into this disgusting muddled goose slushy. Everyone is a mess when they're growing up. Some people are just bad, better at hiding it than the others. It's okay be, to be a flaming dumpster fire. It's okay if you're not what your parents wanted you to be. 
It's okay to change your mind. If you want to be a butterfly, you have to be butterfly soup first. If you think about it like that, we're all doing pretty good right now. We just don't know it yet. Just keep going. Just keep trying, and eventually, you'll find people who like you for the weird fuck up that you are. You deserve to be happy. So don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. And if an alligator attacks you, go for the eyes. What? That's what I told Min last time she said that line. The, the not giving up. I have trivia like that too. If you're walking on the sidewalk and see a car coming toward you, instead of moving forward or backwards, go directly left or towards the nearest obstacle you see. Why you left or right? I don't get it. There's normally too much, uh, too little time to judge the car's direction. Moving directly perpendicular to how you're facing is your best bet. I was looking up how to survive if a car drives into you as a pedestrian. I already told you, I'll just hit the car out of the way. This turned into a random advice session. And this conversation. Otherwise, we'll be standing here forever. Okay, I'm ending it now. Bye. That was beautiful. the future. There's a epilogue. So which one do you want? They're at the, uh, the shelter? Don't know. Which dog friend do you want, Sheep? Hearing his name, Sheep turns brightly to Dia, tongue lolling out. His frog raincoat makes a crinkling sound against Bean's arms as he wags his tail. He's too nice. He likes all of them. Dia appears down at a Pomeranian in the enclosure. It's Pom. This one reminds me of you. How? Small, but thinks she's invincible. Hey. It's a charm point. I love you for it. Dia picks a little Pomeranian up and gazes into her black, soulless eyes. Your name is Pom. Nice. Alright, so, that was Butterfly Soup. I hope you enjoyed it. I really did. I'm so glad I got to play that game. Uh, yeah, that was amazing. Super fucking cute. Honestly, I feel like I needed a feel-good visual novel in my life like that. And, hey, it was the, <laughs> the prequel to uh, Palm Gets Wi-Fi, I guess. But yeah, I'm so glad everything worked out for them. Dia and me get together. Everything worked out for the best. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the series. I'll see you next time. Bye.